Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic inequality and eventually we are going to graph it on a real number line. And in this very first step to keep things simple let's ignore that inequality and let's pretend this is an equal sign. So I put it an equal sign as you can see over here. So we want to solve this now quadratic equation. The very first thing I want you to do is I want you to move this 18 on the other side. So this is going to simply become x squared plus 3x. And when you move 18 on the other side, become negative 18 equal to 0. Now this can be easily factored out. So let's go ahead and factor it. So the one of the factors is going to be x plus 6 and the other factor is x minus 3. So let's go ahead and split them up. x plus 6 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be x minus 3 equal to 0. So x equal to negative 6 is one of your x value and x equal to positive 3 is another one. And in this step, as you can see, I have plugged back my inequality symbol over here. So now we're going to graph this inequality. The very first thing I want to make sure, just keep in your mind, whenever you have a less than or equal, this kind of inequality symbol, we're going to have a closed circle. Just keep in your mind. And here is the info. I just put it down for your uh, to help you out. So the next thing what we're going to do is we want to graph this inequality and we need a number line. So now we're going to go ahead and put down where negative 6 and where is 3. So we have a closed circle at negative 6. You can see that one over here I'm going to put down closed circle at negative 3 and close circle at 3 as well and always remember one more thing I want to tell you whenever you have a less than or equal this kind of thing we're going to have always in between in between these two numbers so just keep in your mind and that's what I am going to put it down just be careful just bear with me so that's gonna be everything in between so now let's go ahead and that's gonna be your x is going to be in between negative 6 and positive 3. So thus this is our graph and our solution is same thing. I'm going to put it down again. X is greater than negative 6 and less than 3. This is our solution. Now you may, might be wondering why this is in between so let me just give you a brief justification since uh, over here you can see this is our x-axis and this graph represents our this quadratic function and since over here just look at over here just i want you to focus on this inequality which is less than so whenever you have a less than or less than equal to the graph is always going to be below this x-axis. That means below x-axis means it's going to be restricted to this part only. You can see this one. Since this is restricted to this part only, no wonder we're going to have uh, this much in between. You can see that one. So that's the reason why we put in between. And now and our solution in set notation is going to be a simply x such that x is in between negative 6 and 3. And if you want to put an interval notation, everything, you see that thing, we have a closed circle, 
So it's going to be simply negative 6 bracket and then and 3 in bracket once again. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.